And the first thing to notice is what kind of lead wires are in it, um, count how many there are, and what the colors are. So for a single element RTD, we have just typically two red leads and one white. And if it's a dual element, there's going to be six wires, still going to have the two reds and a white being one sensing element, and green and black would be the other. Now there are some differences in the color coding based on manufacturers. The, the standards define the colors um, as this, but there are at least two or three manufacturers that substitute green for the yellow leads on the, especially on the, uh, the dual elements. So that's where you're going to see kind of the biggest difference. These will just be green um, for you know, several of the big instrument houses will we'll use a different color code there. And then there are some electrical tests that can be done to help identify this part. Uh, if we suspect that it's an RTD, you know, we have three wires coming out of it or we've got six wires coming out, uh, we can pull that probe out of the process Stick it in a nice bath. It doesn't have to be anything real fancy, usually just some kind of an insulated container, pack it full of crushed ice and a little bit of water. Um, you don't want the uh, ice floating in the water. And um, let it sit for a few minutes and then measure the resistance uh, that you get um, from the, between the lead wires. And what you want to do is check between, in the, in the case of a three-wire system, you'd want to check between the white lead and one of the red leads. You don't want to use both of them, just one of them, and, and measure that resistance. And if we want to get a little more in-depth, we can go ahead and uh, compensate manually for that lead resistance. We just take just a simple ohm meter, check between the two red leads, and measure that resistance, and then subtract that from what you measure between the white and just one of the reds. And that will give you the resistance of just this sensing element right here. It's a little resistor made out of platinum wire. So that, that's what you're measuring and that's what you want to define. And now that resistance, um, if it's what's called a class A sensor, should be 100 ohms plus or minus 0 0.06. If it's a class B, it'll be 100 plus or minus 0 0.12. And that's at the ice point. Now, if you don't have an ice bath and you don't have time to go out and do all that, you can do a quick check in the field. And at room temperature, should read about 109 ohms. And that could be, um, you know, probably plus or minus half, of, half an ohm. Uh, it's pretty difficult to get a good um, um, measurement rate at you know room temperature. There's so much variation in the in the air that the, the and even grabbing the probe with your hand is going to cause it to warm up. Which is actually another good check. You can hook your ohmmeter on it and just grab the tip of it with your hand, and the resistance should start to go up as that probe warms up. <clears throat> 